From a place that is known for bright lights, Ray Bathia has been the best kept secret to come out of Atlantic City. The Howard University bound senior averaged 23.5 points per game and impressed audiences with his speed and high flying jams throughout the year. Some could argue you'd pay for season tickets to see something so incredible. Mike DePersia is the gritty guard for the state champion Haddonfield Bulldogs. A team that had no home court due to renovations was able to fight through injuries and adversity to win the Group 2 state title. DePersia made this key offensive rebound and sank two free throws to secure a state semifinal win over Rumson Fairhaven and poured in 22 points in the state title game at Rutgers against Newark Central. Dylan DeVinney was the versatile big man for the Shawnee Renegades. With 1,622 career points, DeVinney averaged 16.2 points per game and was able to grind out points in the post as well as being a deadly three-point shooter. DeVinney had 81 triples in his senior season, 215 for his career. Dylan scored 18 points in Shawnee's state final win over Newark Eastside while playing alongside younger brother Connor during a tremendous 29-5 season. The thundering herd of Woodbury are New Jersey's Group 1 state champions, and Aaron Estrada was the catalyst. Estrada scored 23 points in a comeback against Crestkill, capped off by a pair of free throws in the final seconds that proved to be the difference in a 60-58 win. Estrada averaged 21.5 points per game, and with over 1,500 points, he's in great position to join the 2,000-point club in his senior season. Hidden in one of the staples of the Garden State, Keon Flanders of Wildwood is known throughout Cape May County as a point machine. Flanders made headlines when he became the 38th player in state history to eclipse 2,000 career points. In 2018, he averaged 25 a game, and if that wasn't enough, he dropped 46 to break Wildwood's single game record, as well as its all-time scoring record. Point Pleasant Beach's Danny Fraunheim led the Garnet Gulls to a Central Jersey Group 1 title. The point guard had a 41-point outburst against St. Joe Hamilton and reached the 1,000-point plateau. Fraunheim averaged 15.6 points per game, but his value goes well beyond points. A great distributor of the basketball, Fraunheim's Point Beach's all-time assist leader, taking that honor from Notre Dame star Matt Farrell. Steve Geis was one of New Jersey's top scorers. Thriving in an up-tempo offense, wall coach Matt Kokoda gave Geis the green light, and the result was some incredible numbers in his senior season. Geis averaged 28.8 points per game, and over his final seven games, he turned things up, averaging over 38 points a night. JSZ was there when he scored 38 against Middletown North, and his high school career came to a close with an unbelievable 49-point game against Hopewell Valley. Camden's Corey Greer spent most of his junior season rehabbing a torn ACL and before getting back on the court for his senior year, fell faint to a heart condition in the summer. This was still not enough to hold back the leader Panther players look up to the most. Greer topped the 20 point mark six times in his senior year. Being a leader and creative playmaker are two highlights of Greer's playing career, but his unwillingness to keep fighting through adversity is what speaks about his character. Rob Higgins was a must-see attraction for Shore Conference basketball fans. The Middletown North Guard averaged 28.8 points per game. He has incredible confidence shooting from long range and has the ability to get on a hot streak and pile up points in quick bursts. Higgins had a sensational 39-point performance at Ocean Township in a game that saw him reach the 1,000-point mark. His season high was 40 against Marlboro. Higgins will be back next year where he's on pace to reach 2,000 career points. Newark Eastside's Jahad Jenkins treated the basketball court as his personal playground and it resulted in some of the most entertaining play in the state. The six-foot guard guided the Red Raiders to a memorable 29-win season, including a second straight Essex County Championship. Jenkins took over in the title game against Montclair Immaculate, scoring 19 points and dishing out five assists. Jahad finished his career with over 1,100 points and is among the top unsigned guards in New Jersey. It has been a year of firsts for Nottingham as the North Stars had their winningest season in program history, including their first county and state championships. Darrell Johnson can be directly linked to that as the six foot five senior grabbed his 1,000th career point and averaged 22 points a game this season. 
Whether it's a 40-point game or a last-second buzzer beater, any coach would love to have Darrell Johnson as a part of their college basketball program. Tavon Jones finished his high school career at Linden High School as the Tigers' second all-time leading scorer and will certainly be remembered as a Union County great. Jones exploded onto the NJ hoop scene as a sophomore point guard and would lead the Tigers to back-to-back -to -back Group 4 state championships in 2016 and 17. By his senior season, Tavon blossomed into a scoring machine, averaging 26 points per game and tallying 1,800 total points in three years. Coach Phil Colicchio says no player meant more to their team in the state than Tavon Jones. Scoring his 1,000th point in his junior season, Cliff Joseph has proven that he's a player you can count on in crunch time. Joseph has been the playmaker Nottingham can rely on all season. Averaging 17 points a game, Joseph nearly pulled off a triple-double in the state finals with 15 points, 9 boards, and 8 dimes against Chatham. With an impressive title run and record-breaking season, it has been Joseph's leadership as well as his cold-blooded fourth-quarter heroics that have landed him as one of the best in the state. Neptune's Jared Kimbrough has been an imposing force in the Shore Conference for the past three years. The six foot seven power forward was able to use his frame to get position on the offensive and defensive glass. The result was a whole pile of double doubles. Kimbrough had a 22 rebound game against Ewing and is a consistent and steady scorer who's capable of elevating and bringing down the house with thunderous jams. Jared Kimbrough moves on to Philadelphia where he'll play Atlantic 10 basketball for the LaSalle Explorers. Six foot six forward Chris Mann was the leader of a Phillipsburg State Liner team that was 17 and nine, reaching the North Two Group Four semifinals. Mann reached the 1,000 point mark during the State Liner's 58-56 overtime win against Watchung Hills, becoming the ninth player in school history to reach that plateau. Mann is Division One bound. He's heading to West Point to play for Army. Dean Knoll got the attention of the entire state when he helped Shawnee win a state championship and reached the Tournament of Champions semifinals. When Knoll took it to the rack, the result was usually instant offense for the Renegades. Knoll averaged just under 22 points a game and shined in Tom's River during the TFC, pouring in 25 points against Woodbury and closing out his high school career with 24 points against Don Bosco Prep. They call Ian O'Connor the Viking in Rumson, and when the RFH Jr. attacked the paint, he certainly had some Nordic qualities. O'Connor isn't the tallest player on the floor, but he plays the game fearless, and the result is plenty of tough buckets in the paint, plus a great outside shooting touch that makes him a matchup problem. The junior averaged 15 points per game and was a big reason RFH won back-to-back -back Central Jersey Group 2 titles. Hackensack was led by a pair of six foot four dynamic guards. B.J. Saliba Jr. was the playmaker Hackensack could rely on all year. Saliba was the go-to scorer when they needed it most, averaging over 19 points a game and hauling down over eight rebounds a night. With great handles, size, and plenty of hops to spare, B.J. was a headache to match up against. Atiba Taylor knows how to get his team fired up in crunch time. The Comets point guard knows how to weave through traffic and find his teammates or take it to the hoop himself for an easy two. Atiba helped Hackensack to the North One Group 4 championship where he had 20 points, 6 rebounds, and 8 assists to claim the title. You can catch Atiba Taylor next year in Ohio playing for the Youngstown State University Penguins. One half of the unstoppable duo in Camden, Miles Thompson is the complete package if you're a basketball coach. His knowledge and awareness on the court are one of the reasons Camden has become one of the state's top basketball powers over the last three years. Thompson scored double digits in 22 of 25 games. He'll continue his basketball career in college at St. Francis University in Pennsylvania.